is it possible to succeed without stress? Looks like an impossible proposition. When I look around, all those who are successful are stressed. They succeed at the cost of family time and peace of mind. So it appears to be that one cannot succeed without stress. But just because everybody around may be appearing like that doesn't mean that it is not possible. Today a lot of workshops are being conducted on work-life balance. That is one aspect where one has to learn and that happens by the prioritizing of the mind and what it wants to achieve, what kind of things that the mind does <clears throat> when it is free. You know Jack Ma, Alibaba, so if you see one of the videos, he says, how does he hire people and how does he promote people? The criteria, one of the main criteria that he uses is, what does the employee do after work? That's his criteria. To find out what is he doing after work and based on that he understands whether this person has balance in life or not, whether the person is able to drop work at will or not, what is the capacity of this person's mind, he judges based on that. Does that person spend time in learning new things, or, you know, away from the job? How does that person spend time? So, at the cost of family, time and peace of mind, there are two aspects to this. One aspect is where there is a Functional pressure created because of certain timelines. In less time, more has to be done, less number of people, that will create a pressure. Where one is racing against the clock. How much ever one can equip oneself with skills and whatever best one can do in that situation, one needs to do. But the second aspect is the psychological pressure. The psychological pressure is what is the stress part of it. Where the person is not equipped to handle that kind of a psychological pressure. So the person has disturbance of the mind, not able to deal with the family situation, not able to spend quality time with the people in the family because the mind is very pressurized and it is not able to adjust between work and family. <clears throat> that psychological pressure is what one has to deal, how to handle that. We have an acronym called spiritual. So most of the questions are similar, so I'm going to finish the answers to these and then come to that spiritual where all the answers, all the points that spirituality tells us, a few of them we will discuss in that, that how to equip the mind so that one is able to be strong and not allow the psychological pressure in the mind to build. Functional pressure is not so tough to handle. But it is psychological pressure which is difficult and that psychological pressure also makes us more slow which affects our performance and again it time goes away in that. So we will deal with that psychological aspect but important aspect here is what do I really value? Do I really value balance in my life? Do I really value the family, the peace and the quietude? All that is very important. If I do value then I will make my choices appropriately <clears throat> and I will not swing into extremes. Even if there is a financial pressure to perform and there is a lot of uh, need that I must work for long, long hours. Not that people in the past have not done it. They have also done many times from hard situations people have gone through. But they don't allow that pressure to build in the mind because they know the reason for which their family, for whom they are doing it, the love that they have for them. That little time that they are able to spend with them, they spend it in a quality way. Because they have a perspective. The bigger picture is very, very important. At a particular time in life, maybe a certain phase is taking predominance. As a student, study will take predominance. As a professional, maybe work takes predominance. And so I may not be able to give enough time. But stress need not be created because of that, because it's a question of prioritizing. If I know the big picture very clearly, now, this has a place in my life. I am much more than this. So I don't get lost in work. Same way I don't get lost in the studies and forget everything else. That balance somehow one has to maintain. And that's the responsibility of each individual how to strike that balance. 
nowadays companies are also more sensitive so they keep you know yoga room meditation room many things in the company itself so that people are able to do exercises keep their body fit they have counseling they have many things available whereby the people can go explain get themselves distressed those things are available today but each one has to find their balance keep the bigger picture in mind then this will happen so it's a hard thing to do no doubt but it is still possible and first and foremost is i should come to believe that yes it is possible to be successful without stress a lot of stress comes because of emotional attachment nothing else just today only i met a person who says swami ji there are big big issues happening in my business and i know that there are lots of things difficult there but i don't have any stress of that i know that i can deal with it i know there are people who will be handling it and i know that even if it doesn't work out it doesn't matter much to me but you know when my family goes my daughter goes abroad to study and she goes away for four months that separation anxiety i can't deal with my wife goes to study some spiritual course that separation anxiety i can't deal with lot of times the stress builds up because of emotions not functional stress functional stress one is capable of dealing skills are there people are there you hire people lot of things can be done but it is a emotional pressure attachment that builds the whole anxiety that's why the spiritual aspect is very very crucial <clears throat> 